Hi guys, uh, taking off this morning here. I guess it's noon. Uh, I'm going to go off and uh, get my rafters. They're all done. So. Got the Dodge all warmed up. Fired up, warmed up. So uh, we made it back with our rafters. This trailer is a 30 foot flatbed. Back to the beaver tail. Three axles. I built this a couple times. It used to be 20 foot long with two axles and then I stretched it out to uh, 30 foot long to there and added another axle but we got our rafters home so that's what they're gonna look like and then this one goes on the outside and so it's got extra extra boards here for more nailing the sheeting on let's see uh, let's see if I can get up there to to show you I'll set the camera down. There. Now we can kind of see. I won't trip over something. That's about uh, 21 inches wide, and then down at that end it's uh, 45, something like that. So they're beefed up pretty good, a lot of plates on there, and it's good for a roof, roof on top, and a ceiling on the bottom, and right now I can't tell you which one's which. <laughs> I think I think I think this one here is the top. I'd have to get a square to put down on there to make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this yeah this this is the top side. It's kinda hard to tell. Let's 
six of them all together. I think they weigh, these five on this side weigh 202 pounds a piece. And I think this one with the extra boards for nailing the sheeting on is, I'm thinking 220 pounds for that rafter. And they're uh, 32, 32 feet long. So now I gotta try getting one of them up in the air. There's a pretty good shot of everything. Alright, so I thought I'd show you what I picked up the other day. Uh, this is my beam that's going on the building. If I can get it all pictured in there. Anyway. Uh, I got this from the county. It was an old bridge rail. And it was a little too long, so... <clears throat> excuse me, I had to cut this much off. Off of it there. Oh, it's about seven or eight feet. It was about 40 foot. But, oh, I think it should work. It's got, uh, I think these are webs. Flanger is about five eighths. I think the web is like 406 or something like that. I think it's 16 inches tall. Had a few things welded on it, which I had to cut off. And I kind of got a center mark there where it's going to go on pretty sure it was 16 inches so I can get a tape measure here Oops, 16 inches. So, that should work for my hoist, my crane. It'll be powered back and back and forth on a beam and up and down. Well, the weather has kind of changed around here, so uh, we got to keep the wood stove going. Didn't get the whole building put up yet, but we'll show you some more here. My wood stove is about in the middle of the shop. Uh, those bolt bins would be the middle. Yeah, way up there. And way back there. So I got a lot of area to heat with the wood. I thought I'd show you one of the beams I make. Uh, I put three 2x6's together and then notch that out. And down this play, you see I got a couple holes drilled here. And then there's the sill plate. So I'm going to try to get put on today and this beam up today. I think it's about 26 outside today. Uh, I made a little mock-up of how the beam works. I have these plates made on this side to uh, to bolt in through through bolts there and then these will be in the lag bolts going through the sill plate. Down through those holes. Anyway, that's kind of the way that works. So, 
Let's go outside and take a look. Uh, there's a lot of uh, building material. Some of these are already pre-cut that I already made ready to go on. Lots of 2x4s, 2x6s. Well, I didn't beat the snow. We didn't get much. But Monday, I think we're supposed to get a lot more. Three, three or five inches more. But I got some rafters put up. I got the uh, two by fours on the underside for the ceiling. Haven't done the roof yet. back up a little bit without falling over something. Uh, hope you can kind of see there's a, I got a beam. The beam is up there. Let me get right over here. There you can see the beam. And the rest of the rafters. That wall's ready to put the sheeting all the way up on it. Let's see if I can walk back here and give you kind of a front viewer. There you can see the rafters. I haven't done nothing on this side yet. But. You see how the roof will slope just the one direction. And the sill plate and the beam I just showed you inside. We'll go right in this area. Because right there uh, where my foot is at, that's the center. And so I left this open so that I could drive my loader in here and put up all the rafters and the I-beam. So I put all this stuff up with that old loader over there. I think the beam was about, I don't know, roughly 1,200 pounds. But we got it up there with that old loader. That's all for now. Okay, so I thought I'd show you this. Uh, this is where the wall, or where the opening was. How I got all the rafters and stuff up here. And we did get some more snow. So I'm going to walk around to the outside. Show you how that's going to work. Oh, we got another three or five inches, something like that. Kids that had no school today. Wasn't that bad, but oh well. There, I got the wall made. Now, bottom boards, that is a uh, treated plywood. I've gone treated plywood all the way around, and going to be uh, inside and outside. And there's the beam that I made. And you can see I got it framed up for for a 3x3 three three window there, like I've been putting in the rest of the shop. And another one right there. I should get some lighting in there. Wouldn't take long to sheet this side. Of course, the higher up you go, the slower it goes.